Hi there, hi campers, and welcome to this weekly collective tarot reading for the 14th of February 2022 until the 20th of February 2022. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Govinda Dean. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel and share this video and my other content with your social media contacts if you enjoy this and you find that other people may enjoy this too. So I'm using the Secrets of the Rose um, tarot deck today. I, this was called to me to use um, for the Valentine's week, which is uh, Lover's Week. So, you know, we're in the Year of the Lover's card and we're in Lover's Week. So what better than to have plenty of uh, roses and reveal the secrets of roses this week. Um, so before um, I start, let's bless our reading for today. So may the wisdom and love of my higher self and my spirit guides be revealed in this reading for us all today. And may such guidance show what is best and what is true. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Okay, so let's see um, what messages... Uh, the secret of the Rose Tarot has for us this week. Um, and we're going to see what's uh, going on this week and how we can use the energy to our advantage, maybe what we're not focusing on, what we're not noticing. Um, we'll do a day-by-day -day, uh, forecast. Also, we'll look at all the zodiac signs. So, you know, collectively, we'll look at the fire signs, air signs, uh that flew out, so I'm going to keep that aside because that flew out. Um not going to look at it yet, though. <laughs> keep you in suspense. Um, also, the air signs, uh, water signs and uh, earth signs um, as well in relation to the week. So we can get a bit of better insight into what's going on. Um, so let's see, what do we need to know for this week of the lovers, 14th to 20th of February 2022? Let's have a look. Okay, so what do we need to know? So, okay, we're going to look at the first two days then. So we're looking at Sunday and Monday. It's always a good, I feel, to start with where we're coming from. Um, so from uh, Sunday, I know Sunday's already been, but it gives us a good place, you know, whenever we want to go on a journey and find out where we're going to, we need to know where we're coming from. And it's like on your sat-nav or Google Maps, you need to, before you need, you can know how to get to where you're going, you need to know where your starting point is. So it's always good to look at, even though the day has passed, to reflect on the day that's been um, as well. But Sunday then, we're getting the Nine of Cups. So we're getting a lot of emotionally satisfying uh, energy um, on, on today, um, Sunday. Things have come to fruition, results have happened, and we've got to that moment where things are on a pleasing um, sort of level. Um, you know, things are satisfactory. Um, I think we got this card last Sunday as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's a day to just look around and absorb what you've achieved this week um, and feel good. Because often we don't allow ourselves to feel good. You know, our mentality is to keep going the next object, the next target. Um, when really it's uh, an opportunity, um, you know, when we have this Jupiter in Mars energy, it is just about being able to just let ourselves um, be grateful and happy for what we've got, really. Um, you know, um, moving on to Monday, we're getting work, we're getting finances, we're getting things coming together. Um, we're getting um, support and help in the workplace. Um, in our community, in relationships, things are working, you know, yes, other people, some people may have a different perspective, they may have a negative stance, they may be criticising you, but on the whole, 
you're doing your best and you've got someone supporting you in what you do in life, um, whether it's at work, whether it's in your relationship, whatever aspect of your life that is, you're getting that support and things are harmoniously um, working today. Yeah, you do. Sometimes you have to take criticism on the chin, right? We do have to understand that it's not all going to be roses, <laughs> like in um, the Tower of the Rose, Secret of the Rose. But it's important to recognise that we are able to, you know, work on things. Um, and that what we're working on today is may take a bit of time. It's not going to be done overnight but projects that we're focusing on uh relationships that we're being more committed to now um maybe we're ready to let other people know about this relationship so maybe today monday um is a good day to tell our friends and family that we're seeing someone um be more public about our relationship create that stability um and involve our loved one the one who we've been dating into involve them in our uh daily life in some sort of way um if that's you know if that resonates with you then take that on board um remember this is a collective reading so i try my best to cover all aspects of people's lives um but yeah on the, the basis, it's just that relationships and community is important today, especially around the world of work and finance. Um, Health-wise, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not a doctor, um, so I'm not diagnosing anything, but really what we're seeing is that health-wise, if you are in need of support and guidance and assistance, or you need someone to do tests, that's available today. That's something that's going to you know, get going today. It may be a, a a slow journey to get the results or to find out what's going on, but it does feel that it's a it's a good day to at least uh work with a team of people to get to get that help and support. What we need to know about uh Tuesday. Let's have a look at Tuesday and Wednesday. King of Cups, okay, and Wednesday. Okay, so the King of Cups then. So, yeah, again, a very emotionally balanced uh, day. Um, really, it's, um, it's, it's a day to really be in charge of your emotions and really, you know, don't let your emotions run away with you or be over emotional about things and react in an emotional an emotional way we can feel without it overcoming us if that makes any sense so it is about yes i uh, i feel i empathize i understand but it doesn't have to take over us and to the point where we break down, we, you know, uh, in a flood of tears about something. Um, while it's good to let those emotions out, this card is saying that on Tuesday, we do need to have better command of our emotions um, today. It's not meaning that we have to hold them back or be cold-hearted in any way. We can, you know... We, we just acknowledge when, or oh, I, I think my emotions are running away with me here or overflowing or getting a bit too much. I need to kind of, right, let's just mm, be conscious of it so that we can. I think that will help throughout Tuesday as in allowing us to feel, allowing us to come across warm-hearted, excuse me, but also to really just have a good grip of our emotions and what we feel, also to know what we're feeling. Um, and the Magus, which is um, normally the Magician, um, we're talking about 
you know, communication on on Wednesday. Per perfect um you know Mercury on a Wednesday. Wednesday is Mercury Day, so it's a doubling up on Merc Mercury energy. So you know, again, it's being conscious, being goal focused today on Wednesday. Um, maybe you have to be adaptable. Maybe, you know, it's tapping into your resources. Um, what do you know? What are you comfortable with working on? And what do you need to learn more about is being very aware of your abilities and your talents, embracing those and also understanding yeah, okay, what have I got on my table? Oh, like the magician. Oh, I've got some things that I work with and other things that I'm not so confident with. So it's focusing on what do I need to focus on? Um, don't focus on things that you know already are confident with or know a lot about. That's just not helping. Today, we need to focus on the elements of our life, the aspects of our work or our study or our craft, if we're you know, in witchcraft, or if we're tarot readers, whatever we do in our lives or hobbies, focus, turn your attention to what you're less confident in, and build that up today. Um, you'll get a lot more out of it, you know, this is an opportunity today to grow those talents and skills that we're not so on board with. Yes, we like to focus our attention and use those resources that we're comfortable with and that we've used so many times because it gives us that support and that confidence to do something well and when we try something new or use something that we don't often use um, it can make us feel unsettled and a bit nervous and unsure but then today is a great day for receiving a lot of information about how to use that. And a, an example I can give, for example, for myself would be in tarot. There are, you know, I have a number of decks that I use uh, regularly. And there are some decks that I, I rarely use because they're not called for. So, for example, on Wednesday, I'll be using a deck that I wouldn't normally use that much because... I know that the information is flowing and the communication with me and that deck is going to flow much stronger today. I'm going to be able to get more out of it than any other day. So rather than just going to my old favourite, my security blanket, if you will, to get me through the day or to communicate the messages that I need to give to people, um, I will find it much more productive to use a deck or, and cards that I wouldn't normally use to really develop a relationship with that. And that can be applied to anyone. You, know, you don't have to be a tarot reader. I'm just using that as an example. That really, whatever your skills are, whatever your talents are, whatever resources you normally use, we kind of get stuck into the same sort of resources. The way that we, also because it's a communication card, so the way that we communicate we tend to do it in the same sort of way. We tend to use the same sort of uh, phrases when talking or structure of conversation. If we're salespeople and we're going into a deal, we tend to have the same approach. This is my magic formula. But really, what we need to do today is work with the less known, work with what we don't feel so confident with, and that's going to build us up. Because the magician has a number of different resources from the different elements and is able to tap into many different things. Um, and we need to sometimes work on those things that don't naturally come up in our daily lives or elements that we tend to steer away from because I don't really know too much about about that or you know it might it might be a, a a computer software that you're not too familiar with rather than avoiding that software and using something very long-winded and not really made for purpose today is a good day to get to grips with that kind of software or if you're doing any training at work 
Today is a good day to get to grips with that new element, that new thing that you're learning. So as you know, a magician, we see them as someone capable, someone who has the talents to use the different resources and tools available to them. They are also students. And in the in the journey of the fall, it's showing us that we're getting to know the resources, getting to know our talents, discovering them. So maybe this is a good day for discovering new talents, discovering new resources that you may have to hand um, to use in your job, in your work or at home, in your fam family life or, you know, relationships, whatever aspect you want to pull this into. It's about knowing what resources you have available and how to use them. And maybe we have to, because about communication, maybe we do need to communicate in a different way today on Wednesday. Maybe we do need to express ourselves differently and see how that feels. You know, if we normally react a certain way to something, try and react a different way. Be a bit of an experiment and see how that sits with you and how that sits with those around you and those receiving. So remember, communication is not about giving all the time. It is about how you receive and respond to things as well. Okay, let's look at uh, Thursday. See what we need to know for Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. Let's have a look. What do we need to know for Thursday and Friday? Don't forget we've got the jumper, which we will talk about uh, later. Okay. So we've got the Queen of Cups. Oh, a lot of emotions this week. A lot of feelings, which is great for the Lovers Week, actually. Um, so Thursday, we're getting to... You know, the queen, a very nurturing um, energy. Again, a lot of understanding, um, being very calm, being very intuitive and compassionate. Today's a good day to know what people are feeling without them having to tell you. Um, insight into how people are feeling is kind of going to come across. It's about really showing how you feel rather than saying how you feel. Um, and it's providing a lot of nurture and as well it's some this energy you can receive this energy we can tap in today that we can get we can be understood by our loved ones um, and we can get you know people can help us facilitate an environment of calm and compassion so if we've been up against it recently and we haven't really felt like we've been understood or been heard or shown any compassion we're going to get we can tap into that today we can we're going to get those kind of energies coming to us today we're being nurtured and loved like the queen is like a mother so that sort of mothering and energy we can either give that to someone who needs it today or we can receive it if we're in need of it today um yeah it and it's it's allowing the feelings to flow as well. It's provide, it's facilitating that environment to allow feelings to flow, to come out, to show themselves. Thursday's a good day to really feel loved and supported by your loved ones. Um, you know, great day for connecting with mothers um, Thursday. And the Ace of uh, Wands here... So, you know, Friday, there's a there's a creative force coming our way. There's a passion that's being ignited for us um, today. That is, you know, Friday. I know growing up, you know, teenager going out. Friday was the start of the weekend. Yeah, Friday night. We're going to go out. Saturday night was the biggest night. But... Friday night was the initial seed of excitement for the weekend ahead. And this is like very, very much that passionate, passionate, passionate week, weekend coming up for Friday. Definitely a, a passionate initiation, starting passions is good for this day. We are able to be more creative on this. You know, we're going to get some 
inspiration for what we can be creative about on this day. And if we're tying it into the Lovers Week, you know, because um, Valentine's Day falls on Monday, it does feel like, oh, we can't really do much about it until later in the week. Um, Thursday is the new Friday, so it seems that, yeah, Thursday is a great day for showing that love and care, having a nice cuddly moment in front of the TV with a film or something like that, seems lovely. And, and Friday is a day for the passion. <laughs> Sorry I say it like that. But, you know, it's the day to light that fire um, or relight uh, the fire, as it were. It's like, yeah, we can acknowledge Monday as Valentine's Day. We can do something that's going to be balanced and harmonious. But really, we're probably going to wait until the weekend, Thursday and Friday, perhaps Friday night, to light that candle um, and start start something, start something passionate. And the seed of something passionate is is there on Friday. So if you're looking at a new relationship or you're just chatting with someone and you want it to go somewhere, you're wondering if there's any feelings, Friday we're going to get to know their true passions. We're going to get the idea of, oh, okay, they, they are passionate, they do have desires for me. That That's, you know, because Lovers Week is not always about people in relationships. If you're looking for love, maybe it's someone in your work or study place, someone within your community who you may already know, um, someone who's out and about around you, neighbour perhaps, um, you know, and I can see that it's someone who, yeah, who can provide what you, provide what you need, be that kind of, you know, know their feelings, know what they want, uh, give you that love and nurturing care. And also, I think by Friday, we're going to see that person if we, you know, communicate with them over the week, especially on Wednesday. By Friday, we'll probably get the idea of, are they interested, you know? Let's look at Saturday and Sunday. see what we need to know there okay and okay so we've got the two of batons which is ones i know it looks like a four but it, it is um it is two because it it's the top end and the bottom end of the the wand coming through the shield there and we have the seven okay so like i said yeah, wow. Friday, and I shuffle the cards. Uh, I love tarot and how this works. So Friday is the start of Passionate Weekend. So like I said, it feels like we're postponing Valentine's Day for the really gritty stuff on Friday. Friday night, we're lighting that candle. We're lighting our passions, our desires, and they're progressing over the weekend. So Saturday you know, the duality, the partnerships, we're coming together. Um, <laughs> you can take that literally if you want to. Um, Valentine's and love is not just about love, is it? it's about passions and it is about sex. And sex is part of our lives. It's in the eight house of mystery that often is hidden away and hushed and don't talk about in public. But I'm a tarot reader who likes to approach all aspects of life, not just the warm, fuzzy stuff, the shadow stuff, and also the stuff that isn't normally discussed. And sex is one of them. So, so we're probably maybe Friday meeting someone who's going to give us a passionate weekend, or we're going to ignite that passion on Friday, say so Saturday, we're literally coming together. Literally, you know, we we are seeing the opportunity for having passion, having desires, uh, having sex, um, probably. Um, 
and you know yeah also you know apart from the sex as well you know looking at the two of wands it is about recognizing what's out there it's going you know yes we do have desires and yes we want to get them and whether it's in the relationship that you're in yes they still hold those hold a flame for you even though it may have gone a bit stagnant they still do hold a flame and there may be looking today on Saturday for the opportunity because it may not be easy for them to instigate a sexual encounter or a passionate encounter it doesn't have to be sex it can be just really good old-fashioned snogging <laughs> but we you know they're looking for an opportunity to show that passion and desire on uh, Saturday and if it is about um, creativity then the idea the notion of being more creative is coming about and we're actually looking at the possibilities on Saturday, the options, the choices that we have. And moving into Sunday, then the seven, we again, through this, we get more understanding. We get more knowledge about our passions. We, we're we getting on basically with our passions we're, and our creativity or really with our sexual encounter our desires are really prog progressing quite quite quickly, you know. So if you do kind of start this journey of having a sexual encounter this weekend, you know, Saturday it's coming together and sun Sunday is that day where you f you know that you're more connected. You understand each other a bit more because you've had that sexual encounter, you bond each other a bit more. I know from my experience, when I was, you know, dating for the first time, had my first sexual encounter, yes, it was exciting, and the idea, the prospect of it came, came about, came together, and then afterwards, that sort of glow on a Sunday morning, where you look at that person, and you go, yeah, I know you, I know you a bit more. And that's really what this is, isn't it? It's about understanding, understanding your feelings, your passions, your desires a lot more with that person you shared, because it's very intimate and it's sharing a very private part of yourself to someone. And also subcon you know, subconscious things that you wouldn't normally talk about or say are coming out and flowing because you're connecting in a very different way that you wouldn't normally that you don't do with everyone put it that way um so it does sunday does feel very special um it's a time to reflect on our desires and passions and really understand them because maybe this person we're having the encounter with or our loved one Maybe we're understanding them a bit more. We're understanding what gets them, what turns them on, what they enjoy. And we're kind of like, okay, I understand you more. I I know where we're going with this. Um, you know, and that's just all good. It's just positive. Um, and if it is about projects and spirituality that we're developing or we're getting to grips with or understanding, we're seeing opportunities, what we can do, what's out there. And we're really understanding and we're really getting to grips over the weekend. So by Sunday, we have a better understanding of what our spirituality is, what our our fire is, what we do want to um, bring about, manifest, create, get on with. Um, we really have a good understanding of that on Sunday. So if, we, if it's been a bit wishy-washy up to now, a bit unsure how it looks or what it is exactly that you're supposed to be creating or doing, Sunday, you're going to really find out what that is. Okay. Let's look at the fire signs. So we're looking at Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Let's see what message you have for this week. Um, and with, with the astrology signs, it doesn't matter if your um, sun... Sun, moon, ascendant, rising, you know, wherever you gravitate to, you can listen to all, you know, whatever your ascendant sign is, your sun sign or your moon sign is. Oops, sorry, it's shuffling. Um, 
you can listen to the to those messages because maybe they resonate on on different levels for you it's completely valid to take those messages on board because those are those three are very important um energies in your birth chart and so we can't necessarily just take oh my ascendant is is my son is this so i'm going to just take that that's the that's what normally happens um but to get a really good holistic view which is my perspective and my foundation of, of what i do it's probably good to look at all three really so okay so Aries, Leo and Sagittarius for this week. What do we need to know? Okay. Okay, we've got the Knave of Swords, which would be the um, the page. So that's really... Um, be alert and curious this week. Um, this week is a week where you've done enough of the theory and you want to, you're, you're itching to go, you're itching to get yourself out there. So in relation to the, to this, uh, to the, the week or uh, reading of the week, learn, you know, on Wednesday, whatever you're wanting to learn, you're, you're itching to get it. You're itching to understand it. You're itching to get going with it and get started. So maybe if you're waiting for a course to start or learning opportunity to happen, you're, you're raring to go, your motor is running and you just need the blocks to be removed so you can speed off. It, but at the, you're kind of like, yeah, anxious to get going really. That's that's really the energy of, of the page here. Um, but be very observant this week because if you're looking for love, then you're going to see it around you. You're going to see it around you. Um, be observe, be observant um, to maybe lessons or things you need to learn about a relationship or the person or the love that you have for so for someone that you're currently with. Um, yeah, just just really have your have your wits about you, really, because opportunities can come up. Um, the ideas of things can come up for you to express yourself better in a more passionate way, to express your passions and desires a lot more over the weekend. And we need to we need to consciously see those opportunities be, to grab them. Right? We can't grab an opportunity if we don't see it. So we need to have our you know eyes wide wide open. Really, um, when we're doing our tasks at work or you know, around finances or collaborating with others or engaging within the community. Keep our eyes open. Keep our wits about us because maybe, you know, we need to really, you know, we're still maybe getting to grips with things. So if it's a new relationship, we're still getting to learn, getting to grips with the relationship. We want it to go all the way straight away, but we need to understand things. We need to collaborate more with that person. We need to connect with that person a bit more before. So while we're excited to get going, we just want to go. We have to hold hold it down a bit. We have to ground ourselves a bit, it seems, um, to really master our feelings rather than just being, ah, yeah, I love you. Yeah, I really want, you know, we can say so much so quickly without really thinking. And we just need to kind of rein that in a bit, fully understand what we're doing and take it to the heart and feel the passion rather than just quick paced, wham bam, I'm out. And you know, for Leo's, yeah, you will get things done. So don't stress about getting them done because you'll get them done. You'll get these projects done. You know, you'll be ready for Valentine's for Valentine's Day. Um, 
if you're celebrating it with someone special, if you're looking for someone, you will find someone. You know, Leos, you 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 have that fire to get to get there. You know, um, so don't don't worry about it. Don't get overzealous about something because then we tend to miss the signs and miss vital information as we go through the week. You know. And for Sagittarius, definitely try to slow things down a bit, you know. Um, if we're antsy to get out and achieve or do or meet that person, if you're chatting to someone and you say, oh, this is the week, it's Valentine's week, I'm going to meet them and we're going to have a romantic meal and we're going to have sex. Whoa, hold it down. Because you may be dealing with a sign that that's not ready for such a fast-paced move. We need to kind of relax it down a bit, you know. Come at it from a from a romantic point of view, from a nurturing, caring point of view, rather than a, I just want the physical things and that's it. I just want what I want, really, you know. Um, avoid being careless this week, is what I would say as well, Sagittarians, you know. And Aries, you know, it's not, it's not all about you. It, love and relationship, it's not all, it's not just about what you want. It's not just about your sexual needs or how you want sex to be or how you want love to be or Valentine's Day to be. Think about the other person. I think you got, I think there's still a lot to learn if we don't focus on what I want, I get. And focus maybe and learn, because Paige is a learning card. Learn and have your awareness to, to tap into what the other person wants. And maybe rather than pleasuring yourself, focus on learning how to pleasure that other person. There you go. Okay, let's move on to our air signs. So that's Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Yay, me for Gemini. <laughs> let's see, I'm a Gemini. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I've got... I think I've got Aquarius in my chart. I think I have. I can't remember now. But yeah, let's have a look. So, air signs, what do we need to know this week? Okay. Okay, King of Batman. We're getting very strong cards this week. It's an important week for us, guys. <laughs> and girls, and everyone um, in between. Um. Yeah, this is an important week, everyone. So, the the king, the king of wands. Yes, have the courage. Val Valentine's week is about courage, isn't it? If you want to say something to someone, you want to share your passion for someone, and you haven't felt ready to do so. Maybe someone at work, someone you study with, someone within your community, or a neighbour, or someone. You go to a book club with, God, I'm going a bit old-fashioned there, maybe. Someone on your social media there, that's a bit more relevant for the kids. Um, be bold, be courageous to express your, your desires and your feed. you know, what, what you want uh, to get. The King is about seeing something that you want and having the courage to, to achieve it or to at least try you, you know, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to achieve it, but you feel better for trying. You know, that's what they say. It's better to have loved and lost than to not have loved at all. It, it's, a bit like, it's a bit like that. It's worth going for this week, you know. Whoever it is, communicate with them. You know, yes, while you can come across quite, um, you know, the air signs... Um, your communication may come across very fired up and passionate, um, very enthusiastic um, about about how you feel or your passions. So we we may need to dampen down that a bit because 
if you're starting off with someone new, you don't start off straight away. Well, yeah, come on, let's get it on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's get it on. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it is about, okay, we may be dealing with someone who wants to take things a bit slower here. We'll be a bit more cautious around the environment that you're, you're, you're both in. Um, and it is a reminder to take, to take control of our emotions and not let them run away with us and not let our passions run away with us as well. And kind of also like the, the King of Cups here, be a bit more in command of our desires and passions to not kind of make that, make that the only thing that we're interested in because it can come across like that. Um, for Libras, you know, balance out your passions and your love and your feelings. Really balance out your desires and creativity, things that you're wanting to create. Find regular time, Libras, to engage in your passion, your creative projects. That manage your creativity well this week um, by finding the time to learn what you need to learn to develop the skills you need to develop to nurture your passions and desires in your craft to really get to grips with it and understand it better by the weekend um aquarius you know aquarius i say you you know don't be a bit don't be too arrogant really um You kind of, yeah, you know, you know how, what you feel, you know your passions, you know your, your desires. And that could possibly this week come across in a bit of an arrogant sort of way. So, oh, well, actually, you don't know if I'm up for that or not, or, you know, you're very confident in what you like and what you know turns you on in a sexual way um, and what you're passionate about, you know it. Um and you have big plans, you have a big vision for your life um, as well, and for your love life. Um, you have great ideas, um, which is great to communicate, but can be a bit daunting for someone who's not quite there yet. Um, and we need to make sure that, again, it's not just a one track, this is all I'm interested in. Let's make it more you know, bring some emotion in with it, really, is what's really coming through for you this week as well. Um, and Gemini's, um, you're thinking about being passionate, thinking about grabbing the ball by the horns, excuse the pun, but take it. <laughs> um, God, this reading today is, is full of puns and all sorts, but it, it is all good fun. I love it. So you're thinking about being passionate, you're thinking about grabbing the ball by the horns and getting it on as it were this week um stop thinking it and do it you know the the king of wands is kind of like saying you know yeah you know what you want to do and you really do want that so be courageous enough to do it you know have some the ones is about action, isn't it? So any, even though a king may feel a bit stagnant, it's not as stagnant as the king of pentacles. So we are getting action here. You know, a king of wands doesn't want to sit around. So be passionate. Don't just think about being passionate or planning to be passionate. Get real with it and really be passionate with your creative projects or your spirituality. Get on it. Make it, make it happen this week. Work with it. Work with others who can help you on this path. Connect with it emotionally. Learn the things you need to learn about your spirituality or your craft that you're doing. Really feel, because your craft and what you're doing and your passions and desires can nurture you this week and can really set things off to a better understanding of yourself, Gemini's. That's a good one for me, so I'll take that. Let's look at our water signs this week. Let's see what the water signs are saying. So that's for Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Let's have a look there. 
Okay, what do you need to know this week? Okay. We've got the Justice card. Ooh, uh, okay. A major arcana. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So the Justice card, then, that's just really saying that any decisions that you need to make or that are being made um, for you water signs, get help from other people who know what they're doing to make those decisions. Um, really know what's what. What resources do you have to play with? Because the decision you're making this week is really affecting your your resources, like how you feel about things, your emotional uh, body, your finances, your health, um, your passion for life, um, all of those things, and you, you know how you communicate and how you come across, are all being affected by this decision. Every aspect of your life is being affected by this decision this week. So make sure you really get to grips with knowing how you're being affected, which resources are being affected so that you know what you need to improve on, what you need to bulk up on or focus on. You know, this is about focus as well, isn't it? So it's about what do we need to focus on this week to make sure I don't deplete too much of my finances or too much of my health or too much of my emotions, you know, emotionally drained um, this week, you could potentially be. So keep things balanced out, my water signs, um, especially, especially with cancer. Um, the cancer sign, earnest feelings all the time. And it's about balancing out those feelings throughout the week, getting help from people who can, others who can really earth and ground and guide your emotions to a better place. Um, you are being cared for. You are being nurtured, although you may not feel it. You are being cared for and nurtured. And I think new passions will arise as of Friday and the weekend. We're able to, you know, you're able to feel better about, you know, feel excited again about life, it feels. Um with Scorpios, um, we need to really balance this um, balance this creativity. You know, you have great powers this week uh, to attract people into you, you know, to really um, be very, you're always usually very alluring. And sometimes we need to just balance, balance it out a bit, you know, um, have that, you know, and have that kind of work life balance, because you, you might be too much on the creation too much on the starting, um, too much on the doing and not really you know, balancing that work and life and having a bit of pleasure along with that. And also for Scorpios, it's not about constantly moving to the new person, especially when we talk about love and romance or hooking up with someone this week. It's not about always finding the next person or the new person. That seems to be quite a, a, a trait for you. Try to balance things out and maybe stick around a bit longer than you would with someone, you know? And for Pisces as well, um, you know, Pisces, you know, you get a lot of kind of psychic energy as well you kind of you do know and believe in so much um especially this week you believe in finding love if you haven't you believe in your loved one um you do 
believe in getting to grips with your talents and ability you believe in you believe in yourself um and you're very aware of what others can't see and you can't really explain everything you just know it because it you you, you can sense it and that's wonderful but then we do you know with um with the justice uh card here it does then feel that we need to try and balance that with what is seen because we can't always rely on believing the unknown you know when we're making a decision or we're negotiating whatever we're doing this week uh pisces we do need we, we need to have something physical to, to to make sure we're making the right decision um we can't just rely on the belief this week there needs to be something physical um for us to to balance balance make a balanced uh decision uh there Okay, and let's look at the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What do we need? What do we need to know for this week? Okay. Oh, five. We're getting a lot of fire energy. Passions are high this week, guys. So everyone, um, five five of of baton, five of wands. So you know, things may not flow easy for us, Earth signs. Things may feel a bit difficult, a bit um, invasive. Um, you know, especially if we've got someone like the King of Wands coming at us this week, um, we may feel a bit agitated, um, or attacked or, oh, this is a bit too fast or a bit too strong. You know, if you think about fire swooping across the earth, it can be quite damaging. So anyone who's dealing with, um, an, an, an air, an air sign, from the earth signs they can feel a bit too penetrating a bit too harsh and a bit too oh you know so um, we, we we need to be wary of that and those air signs if you're dealing with any earth signs put yourself in their position probably literally <laughs> in talking about the bedroom um and maybe not be as harsh or as forthcoming um as you would want to be because they they need a more gentler um more gentler um approach um and you know it seems this week you know um capricorns you're always on a goal chaser um and this week just recognize it may be difficult to achieve it you know, you do put passion and fire this week behind something, but also be comfortable with the fact that it may be a bit difficult. So let's not get too involved and know when to just, okay, I'm going to take my foot off the accelerator um, this week a bit, you know, because you might get fired up to really, uh, you know, get a goal this week and it ends up being more complicated and causing more issues and taking you way out of the comfort zone, maybe, because, you know, we don't want to, for the, for the sake of our cause, we don't want to be heartless. We don't want to cause devastation or disruption or conflict in order to achieve our goals capricorn um taurus um yes you have great determination but that determination may f you may be blocked 
you may come across complications and arguments and difficulties this week. So, you know, maybe we do need to be flexible. I know it's difficult to us being, being flexible, but when it comes to passions and desires and what we want, we can be so headstrong. Maybe we need to be a bit more flexible and avoid confrontation. Conf confrontations um and and virgos really you know don't over analyze it this week if an argument happens this week it's not ideal um for valentine's week but don't complicate it don't make it into an argument um don't over analyze it you know normally an analysis is great but for you virgos it seems like this week um over analyzing can lead to very heated arguments uh which we don't want this week you know um maybe are we focusing on something that's quite petty and in the grand scheme of things does it really matter you know um so yeah so try to be, maybe be a, avoid being over critical this week um because it could lead to a lot of um uh, arguments and, conf and complications if a loved one is making an effort for Valentine's, embrace that effort rather than being overcritical and going, oh, well, it's not as good as last year. Or, you know, let's just, you know, avoid confrontation, I think. Um, okay, so we got the jumper. So that's the overriding energy that I'm going to use um, for today. And, oh, look, the jumper that came out at the beginning while I was shuffling is the A of... Baton, the eight of one. So a little a lot of fire. Oh, I'm getting I'm feeling very hot at the minute while doing doing this reading for you. Changing passions. Quick paced, fast paced changes. Passions and desires are on the move. So whether whether we're hooking up for a sexual encounter, whether we're wanting to heat things up in our relationship or finding a new love or a new relationship and wanting to be get passions going with that we're making fast paced movement we're make this week we're making passions happen we're making our desires known and we're getting what we want really in that um we're able to really if it's creativity that we're doing we're really able to really step up and really achieve something and really speed forward in our creativity or in our spirituality so this idea of connecting with community and those around us nurturing our passions this week everyone learning our resources complete toolkit what do we have available to us and really get to grips with everything we're getting to know our desires our passions our spirituality better um what we're creating are better and it seems that we're being propelled forward so whatever we do this week even if it's a relationship or new love or if you know air signs if you're being courageous to express your desire for someone it's gonna propel forward quite quickly this week so it could be a very passionate week um of changes and advancements um this this week for everyone so that sounds very interesting, doesn't it? That sounds very, very um, exciting and, oh, can't wait for this. So let, let's see. So I hope that this reading um, resonates with you. Um, and I do recommend that you can come back to this reading as the week progresses to, in case you need any reminders of what was said for each of the days, you can do that. Um, if you would like a personal reading, then you can please click on the link um, in the description box. I'm offering video and email readings at the moment. Um, if you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and share this video on social media because it does help me to reach out to others and my messages to those who seek it or need it. If you feel someone who could benefit from this uh, reading, please share this video with them as well. Um, you can watch more videos like this by clicking the link on screen. Um, I also have the link to my daily tarot reading playlist. So for each of the day of this week, I'll also be doing a daily reading so you can match things up and get better insight into each of the days. So you might want to pay attention to those daily readings as well. 
Um, and so, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead. It feels very hot and passionate and full of desires. Um, and that these passions and desires or whatever we're crafting, whatever we're creating, creativity is the, is the, the key this week, creating that love, creating the desires or what we want we can create it and it seems that things are fast paced so eight eight days i do an eight day forecast here so it seems that over this week we're able to take things forward and propel things that we're passionate about and that we're wanting to create much more this week than we had done before we're on we're on a you know we're being turbo boosted forward uh, which is which is great. So any relationships or new hookups can be propelled forward quite quickly um, to that place. Like I said, at the end of the week, by the weekend, we're in a very passionate place, whether it being physical passion, <laughs> desires, sexual encounters, whether it's being very creative and understanding our creativity or our spirituality, being very spiritual um, next next weekend. But things are progressing at a fast rate which is amazing so love and light peace and love and joy to you all namaste and blessed be